Hey yo, it's Stevie P reporting live from the control room in my friend Cole King's recording studio. Doing a little a little creative retreat with a couple friends this weekend. So what I want to talk to you about right now is how do you know if something is positive or negative? Alright, because a lot of times we just throw words at things that are arbitrary and they they don't really mean mean much so we might label something as positive just because it's positive based on our perceptions but here's a way to create like like a general way of knowing what is really positive that term positive or negative again those are terms but here's the thing positive is something that feels harmonious something that feels good. So even though positive might be a word that's subject to meaning and interpretation, if something feels good, if something feels harmonious, like you're in alignment, that is what you can consider positive. And then negative is obviously the opposite of that, the antithesis of that. So that's things that feel bad, things that make you feel out of alignment or disharmonious. So that's that's a good a measure. It's a good way to to assess different situations and how different things feel for you. So if something feels good, you know that feeling, not not the thinking good, but the feeling good. If something feels like harmonious and that you're in alignment with yourself, you know that feeling. We all know it. That is what you can call positive. And when you just feel twisted up inside, when you feel like different parts of yourself are contradicting each other, you feel like pulled apart in different directions, that's negative, that's disharmonious. So apply that to, to anything and everything. You know, before you just go and label something as positive or negative, see how you feel about it, see how it makes you feel, and go from there, because feeling is true understanding. Thinking is, it's just interpretation. All right, so trust how you feel. Peace, peace, much love. One love, baby.